Are you between adventures? Do you want to try something new or just looking for a really cool one shot to play? Well, I'm going to review Dungeon in a Box today. Let's get into the review. Welcome back to Kristen's Epic Adventures. If you enjoy D&D content, RPG content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when new videos are posted for tons more content just like this. Today, I am reviewing Dungeon in a Box. Guys, this is, according to their website, everything you need to run an epic adventure delivered to your door. Uh, hello, epic adventure, Kristen's epic adventures. I'm all over this, I had to get one. So uh, according to their site, this provides enough content for a month of adventures. Now, these can be run as one shots or they can all be run together as an ongoing adventure arc. So you can just keep play the next month and the next month and the next month and they all go together. It says that each box has at least two gridded adventure maps and a set of terrain tiles that correspond to the adventure in here, two exclusive minis and their uh, skinny minis, which we'll see what those are, and buildable 3D terrain that requires no gluing. All right, let me tell you a little more about this. You also get, when you subscribe to these boxes, access to their one-shot library. I went in there and checked this out and there are nine different one-shots in there right now when this video is out. They each come with a digital one-shot with two digital maps and an option to purchase them and actually get the physical version if you want that too. Now this subscription box has options to pay month to month. I think three months, pay for three months, pay for six months and pay for one year. So the longer subscription you do, the less expensive the subscription gets. So I just did one month, month by month right now. So this was $33 plus shipping. Now they do have an option, especially with everything going on right now, if you can't get together and play in person, they have a digital only mode, which is a uh, monthly subscription, which is only $12 a month. And for $12, you still get the adventure booklet, the maps, monster and terrain tokens, and this is all digital. So it's all online for you to use in like Discord or things like that. You also get ambiance soundtracks. Uh, I went and looked, there were three, for this adventure, there were three different sounds that came in the long and the short version. Um, and you get additional lore, like for this one, there's even a downloadable letter that you can either email or send the file to your players, or if you're playing in person, you can print it out. This is so cool. So I have never received one of these before. It's still in the package. We're going to open it right now and check out what's in here. Now, I love the fact that they did this in clear plastic because you'll see, uh, I was pretty excited when I opened my mailbox and saw this inside the mailbox. A lot of packages you get, you can't see through the packaging. And a lot of times, I don't know about you, but I forget what I've ordered. And I'm like, what the heck was that? What was coming today? But when I opened my mailbox, it looked like there was a treasure chest in my mailbox. So that was pretty exciting. So I've got my scissors here. We're going to open this up and let's check out this dungeon in a box. I am really excited for this. I have actually had this for a few days and have been going crazy waiting to open it with you guys because I wanted to uh, be able to open it fresh from scratch. Okay, let me get the plastic out of here. Okay, this, I mean, the boxes themselves are even gorgeous. This looks like a cool treasure chest, okay? And now this one has some coral, maybe some barnacles and a starfish on it. So I'm pretty sure the one that I got, I don't know if the name is on here, is called, the adventure arc I got is called the Star Tide. So it's kind of an ocean themed box, okay? So let's open this up and see what's inside. Okay, awesome. All right, so here's the adventure booklet right on the top. Oh, this is printed on some really nice, you know when you get that paper that's nice and soft, I don't know if it's got like a matte gloss on it or something or a matte finish, but the paper is so soft. <laughs> I look at this cat. There's a cat pirate on there, which I'm pretty excited about. Voyage of the Fallen Star, I think is the entire campaign for the year. And this particular box, the adventure is called The Star Tide, okay? 
So it says on the back of here that this box includes all of the following. The Star Tide Voyage of the Fallen Star Adventure 1. Uh, I'm thinking that means no matter where they are in this yearly campaign, because I'm a new customer, they sent me adventure number one. They did also say that you could cancel any time, and if you ever decide to pick back up, just email them where you left off, and they'll send you the next adventure from where you stopped so you don't miss anything. Let's see, what else does it include? Port City, Ancient Temple, and Ship Encounter Maps. The Great Sea World Map the exclusive skinny mini characters and monster tokens, buildable 3D terrain tiles, two or more 32 millimeter miniatures, the astral compass adventure tracker, hmm, I wonder what that is, and special legacy cards and stickers that shape your character's fate. Oh, how cool. Okay, so this is, it looks like it's a 30, 31 page booklet that contains this one shot, okay? This is awesome. Oh, great, it's got effects tables, all sorts of notes for the Dungeon Master, what happens in each room. Excellent, excellent, I love it. Okay, so here's the adventure, right? What else have we got? Oh, okay, wondrous one shot, oh! This is a free one shot that came here, I think. See this, uh, Death in the Dunes? I think this is a free little one shot that came with this box. I'm not sure if it's because I am was a new subscriber. It might be, it might be like a special promotion. Sign up now and get this. Take your party on a whodunit caravan mystery through the desert. Will the heroes discover the killer or will the heat kill them first? Intended to be played as a standalone adventure compatible with 5e. Nice. Okay, so this is a extra free one shot. Awesome. Oh, this is part of those wondrous one shots. I think this is part of the one shot library that you can download online. Oh my gosh, like everything is on this super smooth silky paper. Wow, that's pretty awesome. You know, a lot of times they print the maps either just on cheap paper or on gloss paper. This is that matte, silky, smooth paper. Oh my gosh. Okay, these are big maps too. Look at this. That looks, that's pretty cool. We got like a little tent over here and some water. What's on this side? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Gems, crystals, something growing. That looks pretty cool too. What else is in here? Oh my gosh, this is so cool. <gasps> okay, minis. Oh my gosh. I hope you guys can see this. This is a Tabaxi Pirate Mini. I hope the uh, camera focused on that. And now I needed to focus back on me. Awesome. A taba and it literally is branded by them. It says Dungeon in a Box on the packaging. Wow. A Tabaxi Pirate. I love him. Okay. Oh my gosh. Here's another one. A Dragon Skull Hermit Crab. Cut it out. Cut it out. Look at this. This is a hermit crab that has made his home in a dragon skull. That's awesome. <laughs> anyway, like you know how hermit crabs will take any old shell to make their home in? He made his home in a dragon skull. Oh my God. Okay, that is so awesome. I think that is the coolest mini I think I've ever seen. Oh, okay, check this out. Now these are this is really, <laughs> I'm blown away by this. The production value on this is crazy. And it was only $33. And if you do a year long subscription, I think it goes down to like 30. And I remember them saying, if you do a year long subscription for 12 boxes, they'll throw in a 13th for free. I do remember that. Now these are their skinny minis. Look, at, I don't know if this is gonna pick this up because they're clear, but this is clear plastic. These are not paper minis. These are not cardboard minis. These are like thick, thick plastic. And they're, they have um, both sides, both sides. So you got some pirate people here and that's their backs. <laughs> and that's their fronts. Wow, okay, and stands. I'm not gonna take these ones out of the wrapper but they give you stands for the minis. Okay, wow, what's in here? I got a little tiny Ziploc bag full of stuff. I don't know what it is, hold on. 
Okay, what's in here? Oh, stickers. Remember it said there was something about stickers that would change things about your character? Oh, no way. Okay, I don't want to give away stuff if you intend to play this, but there are some stickers in here that look like, a couple of them look like maybe you stick them on a map to change the map, maybe? A couple of them are just like descriptions. And then there's one that kind of looks like a little gem or something, but I'm pretty sure these are stickers. And let's see, on the back of the book, it referred to those as special legacy cards and stickers that shape your character's fate. Oh, these might be, these are like little character cards. We've got a couple, maybe NPCs or something right here. Stats on the back, that's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, okay. On the bottom here is the 3D terrain. Hold on, I gotta tip the box to get it out. Wow, oh my God, there's so much of it. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on, and some more maps. Guys, even, not the bottom, but even the inside of the box is decorated because it's all printed on one side and then once it's folded together, but they didn't like skimp on those pieces. Super cute. Okay, hold on, some more maps. So there's like three big maps in this one. Now, you know what? I have a feeling this map, the first map I showed you looked like desert. And I think it might go with the Death in the Dunes one shot. And these other two maps, I think maybe go with the Star Tide. Okay, what's this map? Oh my gosh. Wow, these are really, oh yeah, look, it's a dock. So there's a big long dock here and a short dock and then some buildings and then the, oh, the water. Oh, so cool. Ooh, I don't know what that is, but it looks pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, looks like the inside of some kind of building with some weird stuff going on. Very cool. Okay, and then the other map. Oh, this looks like ships. Ships, ships, ships. Oh, it, they did say that there was a world map, right? The Great Sea world map. Here you go. Look at that. The Great Sea world map. That's pretty awesome. Chart of the grapes, the Great Sea, not the grape sea, the Great Sea. Wow. Showing... It says, showing the forms and positions of lands known and unknown. And it even marks trade routes, ruins. There's arrows for which way the water current goes. What? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Okay, that's the world map. And then, hello, ship map. The colors on these maps are ridiculous. They are so bright and vibrant. Wow, I can't, I can't wait to play this actually, this is so awesome. Okay, and then I have, oh my gosh, two packs of 3D terrain. Oh, this is a compass. I'm not 100% sure what this is. This has something to do with a compass. It said on the back here, it was a astral compass adventure tracker. Let's see if I can get this out of the plastic and see what it does. Okay, this just seems to be flat. Oh, you know what? There was a sticker in there that looks like it goes in one of these little tiny spots. And I'm wondering if you put a sticker on to show that you've done that part of the adventure. And when you have the whole compass filled in, maybe that's the tracker. I, I bet, I bet, I bet. That's really cool. Look at that, even did the back looks like fake wood. Okay. And then, oh my God, 3D terrain. So they have the maps and then they have these cardboard punch outs that you can like put together to actually make 3D objects like crates. Oh my gosh, is there one that I can put together real quick? Let me put together, okay, oh my gosh, okay. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. I'm just very easily amused and I'm very impressed with this. Okay, so I just punched out one of these little crate boxes and it's not fully cut, it's cut through on the edges, but not fully cut through. Oh my gosh, so that you can bend it. Shut the front door. Okay, and then you put it together like that. Oh, if you could see that. And then you have a little three-dimensional crate to put on the map. It looks like there's three crates. What is that, maybe a table? And I don't even know what these are. They're like some 
They look like faces. They look like faces made out of stone. And it looks like they have holes to put these arrows in them. I don't even know what these are to fully put them together because I don't want to mess it up. But oh, that is so, and these aren't just like, they're cardboard. They're not like paper ones that are either gonna like blow away <laughs> if someone gets up from the table too fast. They're pretty, they're like heavy cardboard. My God, that's awesome. Okay, all right. Dungeon in a box, I am really impressed. <laughs> oh, let me also tell you, I realized from poking around through the websites because I wanted to get you guys a bunch of information, right? So I had the price, there's different monthly subscriptions you can do, but they also have, uh, where did I jot it down? They also have a minis only box. If you don't want the adventure and you just want a box of their awesome minis, they have that too. And I wrote down how much that is. Where did I write it? Minis only, $20 a month. $20 a month they have minis in a box subscription. But again, if you just, if you're cool with just getting all this stuff digitally because right now you're playing online, it's only $12 a month. And 33 on a month by month basis gets you all this, come on. A hermit crab living in a dragon skull. <laughs> I can't even. Oh, and the tabaxi pirate. Guys, okay, you know, I have heard of Dungeon in a Box for a while, and I was like, I should really check that out. I really kind of want to check that out. And then when I started the YouTube channel, I was like, I should really get one of those and see if it's cool. Maybe everybody on, on the channel would like to see what's in there. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to get it. I'm just going to get it. Let's see what's in there. I'm just going to get it. Wow. <laughs> wow. You know when you get that nice soft paper and you can't stop touching it? <laughs> And a free one shot. Okay, so I got two one shots out of this one. It might only be your first one where they give you a free one, but still. So there's supposed to be a month worth of content in here. And then I'm automatically gonna get renewed unless I cancel and get the next box. And it's gonna continue. It'll be adventure number two. Okay, all right. If you liked this and this sounds like something you would buy, or I wanna, I wanna know if it sounds like something you wouldn't buy, put a comment down below if you wouldn't buy it. But I wanna know, give us a thumbs up and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and this is totally something you would buy. Um, and would you like a review of the adventure after I've played it? Let me know that in the comments, in the comments down below too. Again, if you love Dungeons and Dragons content like this and RPG content, Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so you get notified when the new videos are up. Share this video if you found it helpful. I would love to grow our community of RPGers that just love all this same stuff too. I hope you guys had a great time. See you next time.